Hello, people of God, Pastor Lee here. Listen, I was just sitting here thinking about how often the old saints would always sit back and say, he is God and he changes not. He is God and he changes not, right? They always made that statement. And I guess they were just basing this popular statement on Malachi 3 and 6, which says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. And this speaks to the doctrine of immutability. Amen? The doctrine of immutability. And it's good to know that God does not change in essence, in nature, and in heart. Amen? And it's good to know that God is not fickle or conditional and that God performs his promises. He does what he says he's going to do and he's going to be faithful to his word even when we aren't. Am I right about it? But though God is immutable and he does not change who and how he is, he certainly does change in how he moves, amen, and how he ministers, what he allows and what he does in, for, and through men. Am I right about it? And yes, though God is constant and immutable, he is certainly into the new, right? All throughout scripture, from Genesis to Revelation, you see God doing the new. Isaiah 43, 19 says, Behold, I do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And what about Jeremiah 31 and 31? Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. And what about Isaiah 65, 17 that says, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things will not be remembered or come to mind. And we as God's people have to learn to be sensitive and fully yielded for when God is ready to do the new. Amen? For when God is ready to do the new. Especially when he's ready to do the new thing through you. Am I right about it? And in this new season we find ourselves in currently, God is desiring to do the new through you. Amen? He's desiring to do the new through you, right? He desires to transform you into the you that he created in his mind before he released you into the earth. Amen? He's preparing now to release the promises he's made into reality for this generation. But there's just one problem. Amen? There's just one problem. The problem is that millions and millions of his people are hindered by deceit. That's right, hindered by deceit, amen? We, we've been deceived by the deceiver and tricked out of triumph by the enemy who seeks to do by any means necessary what is required to detour your destiny, amen? He wants to keep you fooled into folly so that you're not able to possess the promises and do destiny, amen? He's made fools out of God's people and trick would-be warriors into slumbering sinners, amen? He's tricked powerful prophets into worried worker bees, consumed, distracted, and deceived by the cares of this world, amen? No doubt about it. We've been born into a fake world full of tricks and traps, but God is now ready to wake his people up from their slumber, sober them up from their stupor, and propel them into promise, amen? He's ready right now to free his people from foolishness and folly, amen? That's why God has sent us at Cardia Kingdom Church into a sermon series these last few weeks entitled, Don't Be No Fool, amen? Don't be no fool. And he's unplugging his people from the matrix they were born into and bringing them into the fullness of their kingdom call and to the fullness of their kingdom identity. Say amen to that. And one thing is for sure, God is doing a powerful and a remarkable work in his people through this series, amen? So do yourself a favor and mark your calendars so that you don't miss another of these powerful, life-changing God encounters, amen? Join us this Sunday at 3.30 or 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at www.cardia.live. Listen, everyone from everywhere is always welcome at Cardia Kingdom Church, amen? So feel free to log on from wherever you are and on any device you can access the net on, amen? Listen, family, I want you to go out and enjoy the rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you at Cardia this Sunday at 3.30 or 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all right? Okay, family, that's it for me. I love you to life. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.